Welcome back, Fat Mouth Fishing. TRB. Uh, RTB. TRB. RTB. Rush Tackle Box. Um, came in the mail today. So, we've got our, uh, our uh, March issue of the Rush Tackle Box. It's another subscription box, like uh, uh, Bait Crate, Mystery Tackle Box, etc., etc. Um, a monthly subscription. So far, I started picking these up recently, and I haven't been too disappointed. You get a good number of no-name, kind of like lesser-named or lesser-known baits and uh, name-brand baits. Um, so I've been pleasantly surprised and pleased so far, so I'm continuing to carry on with them. Uh, I will give you a little tidbit. Um, my Mystery Tackle Box uh, unboxing will be coming. I'm going to delay it. I'm going to have my Mystery Tackle Box in my hand, and I'm actually going to wait to post my video. Only because uh, a couple of close friends of mine, a man I work with, and uh, another friend of mine got in contact with me and uh, shared a little bit of information about some things that I say and them getting repeated elsewhere. So I'm going to wait to post my uh, Mystery Tackle Box unboxing a little late, just to see if this other individual can come up with his own uh, conclusions as to what's in the boxes and make sure that it's not just repeating kind of things that I've already uh, made assumptions of. That being said, uh, let's crack into the RTB. Now the RTB is a, it's an American company, comes out of, um, or my box comes out of Niagara Falls, New York area. Um, it's interesting, you get a couple of really, you know, unknown um, brands every once in a while. And you get a couple of really good name brand stuff. It's not as big a selection as, say, your MTB. Um, typically, I think in the past boxes, I've gotten like five, five or six baits in a box. They only have one size. It's not like a, a Mystery Tackle Box that has three tiers. It's only got one size. Um, but it's relatively inexpensive. So we crack it open. You get a nice um, bait card listing. Uh, and a bunch of cool stickers. So we've got uh, Dad the Fisherman, the Myth, the Legend. I like that one. And you've got, this is really cool. This is a, sort of like a, a Hawaiian style tattooed or a tribal tattooed um, set of fish. That's pretty cool too. So two cool little, little stickers. Um, always interesting. I always like companies that throw in stickers that are outside the mainstream. It's not just RTB on a sticker. It's actually something related to fishing, but different. So you can throw it on your kayak, your box, whatever. Inside your box card, we got uh, Bagley, name brand Lunker Hunt, name brand Venom Lures, two Venom Lures uh, items. Um, Z Bait Company, which I've never heard of. So you got Z-E-E -E Bait Company, and then Mayhem. Mayhem, I'm well aware of. These come sort of like Lucky Tackle Box with a little paper mache on it. I really wish they didn't waste the wax paper. So, let's tear into this and start off with Bagley Legendary Action, the Sunny Bee 05. So we've got ourselves a crankbait, <clears throat> Sunny Bee. It is made in Serbia. That's a good place for a crankbait to be made. The SB05 CSD, which I'm going to say is a, a citrus shad color. Um, it is a six to seven foot, three eighths ounce diving crankbait. So we'll pop this out of the old package here. Bagley lures are well known, especially for their balsa. Um, I'm going to say this is probably a balsa bait. Yep, definitely balsa. So it's uh, you got your little citrus shad you know, spot. Citrus color, orange bottom, chartreuse side. It's got that elongated oblong lip on it. And again, this is a six to seven foot diving depth. So a little bit deeper water, open mid, mid water column or mid water um, lake fishing or reservoir fishing. Almost a one knocker. Those aren't the Oh, that might have been the hook tie. Yeah, okay, so that was that was the line tie on the plastic on the front of the bill. So it is a silent bait. Silent. So no noise. That's always good. If your um if your fishery is really really pressured and you got a lot of people throwing out uh, Bill Lewis rattle traps, for example, 
and uh, you know one knockers and and really high sound and vibration crankbaits throwing something that's a silent crankbait might be just what you need to get the fish to commit to biting because they're so pressured and so used to noise that just seeing the flash especially in clear water um, seeing the flash and seeing something not make noise they're they're like well we know that these noise making things are baits and they're triggering us and and you know we'll steer clear of them this it's just like another fish flying through the water, and so let me go after that. So that's a good thing. That is a $9.99 uh, retail value bait from Bagley. Next, we have the Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait, 4.5 inch. This is $9.95. Also, this is actually kind of cool. This is a soft plastic, 5 8 ounce, 4.5 inch weedless swim bait, soft swim bait with that mold injected split down the tail to give you that swim bait action so as they mold the soft plastic um, they mold it with these little you know um, thin spots and they actually poked holes in them why am i throwing there okay so you can see the little tiny holes but they mold these little sections in there to give you that swim bait rather than have a solid uh, hard bait jointed these are just soft joints it is a very malleable plastic soft squishy um, swim bait good good hook um, lunker hunt always has pretty good hooks now there's a lot of plastic that is actually during the molding is actually stuck to the hook point i'll have to clean that up a little bit it's not a bad deal but whatever three eighths ounce uh, excuse me five eighths ounce <clears throat> um not bad I'd, i wish they'd had uh, more of an uh, exposed like fins on the side of which they came flared out a little bit better, but that's pretty cool All right pre-rigged ready to go right out the box throw it and and uh, fish a little swim bait um, right now uh, Transition from winter into spring you're getting your pre-spawn bass coming up as the waters are warming our water uh, on my main lake that I fished just hit 43 43 44 degrees today so hopefully we're getting some 60 degree days coming up. The water will start warming a little bit faster. Uh, the nights doesn't really matter. It doesn't really shed off too much of the temperature, maybe a degree or two overnight, but then it warms back up in the morning. So I'll be hitting that um, 48, 50 degree mark pretty darn soon. And then you'll see a lot of those pre-spawn bass coming out and uh, heading into the shallows, out into the, into the creeks um, on those secondary points. So that's pretty cool. Next up, $5.99, our first Venom Lures bait, which is the Yukaro 100K Jig. So, okay, so it's the Yukro, Yukos, U, Y-U-R-K-O, Yurkos, $100,000 finesse hair jig. Okay, so this is a little finesse jig, but it's a hair jig rather than a, a rubber skirt jig. I'll pull it out of the old package here. Okay, so this has got a combination. Oh, this is pretty cool. Alright, so you got a combination of some rubber skirting material as well as some hair on the hair jig. This is in green pumpkin color and it comes with a little, like the body of a grub, a curly tail grub, but it's missing the curly tail. I don't know if that is a an error. Was I supposed to have a full curly tail grub already pre-rigged on this? Or, and I got a broken, you know, one that's missing the curl. <laughs> but you've got the grub uh, body profile, just not the curly tail on the, on the end. But that's okay. Um, it still adds body and that soft plastic... Uh, Pushed up against the skirting will keep it flared out. Hair jigs are known for that natural, um, you know, natural um, odulation in the water. And this one is pretty cool because it's got a little weedless uh, uh, hook guard, a little weed, weed guard. So that's pretty cool. I like those spring weed guards. A lot of people don't. They rather like, you can always clip them in the middle and have two separate wires. I don't mind the loop. I haven't had any problems with hook sets um, as, as is so far, so I'm not really worried about that. But some people say that these, uh, these loop-over weed guards give them issues, so they can you know snap that right down the middle with a pair of snips, and uh, then you have the two individ individual uh, independent wires. Um, nice little stand-up jig head. Um, 
Really good again. You can also fish these. People don't really think to, but this in your spawn, um, these these work really well. Hair jigs look natural, natural colors like green pumpkin, watermelon. Um, uh, they will they will entice the fish to pick it up and push it off, and you can get that that sight bed fishing um, you know bite if you if you really can antagonize them with these finesse jigs. That's a good a good option. And again, that's five dollars and ninety nine cents. Next, Arma Craw, and this is by that Z Bait company. Arma Craw. Okay, this is a big bag. Arma Craw. It is a four and a quarter inch seven count big bag, um, enhanced with bass syrup by Z Bates. This looks interesting. If if this portrait on the side is the same as what's in this bag. I'm going to be interested to throw these. And it looks to be. Oh, yeah, it is. Definitely can smell the Bama juice or whatever they call it. Bass syrup. All right. So this is really cool. So you've got these claw appendages. And then you've got these little independent tentacles. Let me see if I can separate that down the middle real quick. There you go. Oh, and they got paddles on the end. There you go. So you've got these little independent appendages, these little tentacles with uh, like quarter panel paddles on the end, little bobbles, and it's in a purple with green flake. So you've got that little uh, grape jelly, almost like a grass green flake. It's hard to make out what it's in there. Um, that's a really cool design. I kind of like that because you're going to have these little tiny appendages kicking behind. This is definitely going to be a good trailer. In fact, I'd probably nip that off right there and throw that on the back of, uh, you know, not necessarily this finesse jig, but definitely on the back of a, a black blue jig or a PB&J jig because I think that right there gives a lot of kick in the back and these little appendages out the on the tail end fluttering by might add that just a little bit of uh, enticement to uh, enhance that bait. And get that strike so that's pretty cool seven count which is good big bag um they do have a, a like a hard plastic uh sheath in there it's not like a full clamshell but they're protected bass syrup so z baits that's that's good i'm i'm gonna be interested in seeing these uh these work i like that idea like i said i'll probably cut one of these off and see how that works as a as a jig trailer on one of my uh one of my regular jigs uh maybe even on um on a uh a chatterbait that probably would work well because the vibrations from that blade in the front might get those two little appendages in the back vibrating in, in sequence. That's a $7.99 bag. Uh, again, seven of them. So that's a little pricey. You know, you're looking at, you know, a dollar and a dime a piece or so. Eh, whatever. Um, Venoms, the second Venom Lures. This is the Finesse Chunks. So you got little, you know, green pumpkin six count chunks. We all know what that is. Um, again, it's the same guy. So these, this is actually from the same guy, the Yurko, and uh, there is, there's a little image on the back. So one hundred thousand uh, dollar jig, and the chunk trailers in green pumpkin to go with the green pumpkin jig. So that's always good when they when they give you the soft plastic to go with your terminal tackle or whatever hardware they're going to give you. They give you the bait that that matches. So that's always a plus. And you got six in there. That's a full pack. That's always a pleasure. $5.99 for those uh, finesse chunks. And finally, another name brand that I'm aware of, Mayhem Baits. Oh, that's cool. All right. So, um, and this is good because I'll, I'll actually talk a little bit about this real quick. Three and a half inch swim min minnows by Mayhem. $6.99 with free 10, millimeter, uh, 10 milliliter liquid scent. The liquid mayhem so you're getting a full seven pack of swim baits here's your swim baits typical soft paddle tail it's not a fork tail it's a paddle tail swim bait in a like a uh, a smoky translucent white uh, they're calling this ale wife lom whatever that means awl pack and they're throwing in a small sample of Liquid Mayhem's Fish Attractant. 
this stuff works. This stuff really does work around my, my uh, neck of the woods. So I'm really appreciative. So now you got your swim baits and a little bit of the fish attractant that you can just squeeze on, rub it, especially these with these ribs. It holds on to that, to that uh, scent pretty darn well. And I'll teach you something else. Anytime you have a swim bait that has a hook cut out inside the belly or in the back, before you rig it up with your hook, take a little bit of the fish attractant when it's a paste or a putty or a gel and, and open this up with your finger and just squeeze a little bit down in that hook crevice, then rig your hook in there. And then that's going to continually pump out scent as you're swimming it. It actually, because the water is going to be held on the outside, it just leaches it out a lot slower and it makes that fish attractant last that much longer. And when you do get that bite all over the hook itself, that explosion of, um, of hook attract, of, of fish attractant as the body's being compressed around the hook shank, that in the mouth of the fish will make him clamp down twice. Um, not so much with this bait, but typically paddle tail swim baits, I love these as trailers on chatter baits. Um, let's see if I have any. Also on, uh, oh, no. do I have any chatter baits? Yeah, of course I do. Um, Lady jigs. So on chatter baits, I love paddle tails as a, um, as a trailer, but uh, I take a, a note out of uh, tactical bassing. Um, he does the same thing I, I do. When I rig up um, a paddle tail swim bait, obviously I use a larger one than for, for this hook than, than this little tiny uh, uh, three and a half. But uh, the way these chatter baits work, this blade is vibrating at a frequency in front and making that chatter sound. And what I do, the way uh, Matt Allen does, is instead of rigging your soft plastic paddle tail uh, with the tail facing down and the head facing up, I actually rotate it and I cut the head off and I'll rig it tight to the chatter to the chatter baits blade with the paddle tail facing opposite. So as I'm pulling this along, the way the water is catching this blade is actually lifting this tail up and making it whip back and forth in sequence in tandem with with the blade. So when I'm out in the middle of open water, that's how I fish it. Now, if I'm in sludge and slop and what have you, or I'm bank fishing close, uh, I'm not out in the middle of the lake or out in open water, um, I do tend to fish it tail side down. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it really makes a difference. I just, I, it's just the way I've always done it for some strange reason. <laughs> reflection, quiet reflection. Anyway, that is a $6.99 kick. And I do like the fact that they're throwing in again um, that free little bottle of the fish attractant. I think that's pretty darn cool um, from from uh, from Mayhem. And like I said, liquid Mayhem, it does work. You can use whatever fish attractants you prefer. I've had great success with liquid Mayhem. Um, total value for this Rush Tackle Box is $46.94. Um, take that as you wish. Uh, as always, they have their snap, post, and win. Uh, you can enter to win a mega box, which has got a $100 value of baits in it. Every month, one person wins one. And, uh, you know, I've, I've not been disappointed. I think I like that Liquid Mayhem pack. That, you don't see that in other boxes. Um, I like the Bagley Balsas. I like Bagley Balsas, period. And this is a nice balsa uh, crankbait. It's a little deep for what I'm probably going to fish, but uh, I'll take a balsa bait anytime. And I like the fact that, you know, they're giving you a jig with the uh, soft plastic trailers to go with. And uh, that explains why it doesn't have a curly tail on the grub. You just throw on these chunk trailers to match it up. So that's nice. And a hair jig, like I said, try it. Sight fishing, bedding fish, hair jigs, because they look natural. They can uh, cause that instinctual uh, you know, reaction bait, uh, bite, reaction bite. Um, as always... I appreciate all of you who've come to view this. Uh, I will be coming out with my MTB a little bit later. Uh, like I said, I'm going to watch this other guy and see what he comes up with instead of him watching me and see what I come up with. Um, and I, again, big shout out to uh, my two friends for uh, cluing me in on that. Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But uh, there's a point where I kind of like, hmm, okay, okay, buddy. 
<laughs> now, all that being said, um, you know, tight lines. Uh, I appreciate you all watching. If you enjoyed this, um, like, share, and subscribe. As always, I have my giveaways. Congratulations once again uh, to our lucky winner of the uh, Angler's Hall Pro Box. Um, she's got her box coming out to her. I mailed it on Monday. So it's heading her way. And uh, as always, we're, we're getting closer and closer to that 500 count uh, subscriber number. So when we hit that, we'll give out the, uh, the one-of-a-kind um, Whopper Plopper bait, the, uh, the, the Whopper Plopper style um, surface bait with the foul mouth fishing logo on it. Um, thank you, Marty Slores, once again for, for hand painting that. And uh, there's a bunch of other prizes in with that package as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, as always, thanks again for watching. Thanks for being part of this Hookaholic family. And uh, peace. I'll catch you on the next cast. Night. <laughs>